The first named storm of the Atlantic hurricane season formed early Saturday morning. Subtropical storm Anna is not a threat to the United States. A tropical storm watch has been issued for Bermuda. This is the seventh year in a row that a storm has been named before the official start to the Atlantic hurricane season that begins June 1st and ends November 30th. Well, let's focus on the weather here at home. Robert has been talking to us all night about there's more rain chances to come. Robert, why are we dealing with this? Like, what's the pattern here? Well, two reasons. We've got a stubborn area of high pressure just to the east of us, and some of that moisture over Texas is from a very, very weak unnamed tropical system. What are the odds? So here's the map of that high pressure that I want to show you. We are right on the edge of it, and we've had numerous weak impulses riding along the edge, kind of where those arrows are circulating around that high pressure. And that is kind of what has been giving us all of that moisture, kind of a freight train just moving over us over the past couple of days. Now this heat dome that's setting up over the southeast is going to slowly slide to the west a little bit. We're still on the edge of it, which is why our shower and storm chances will continue. But my goodness, is it going to get hot across the south this upcoming week? These are highs for Wednesday. Many locations, Mississippi, Alabama, the deep south here, triple digit heat, upper 90s, record setting heat. In fact, I checked the forecast for uh, the city in Alabama. It's escaping me, of course, where uh, the Diamond Hogs are going to play mid to upper 90s all week. So hot weather for the Hogs as they move on in the NCAA tournament there. Uh, you can see the satellite and radar picture right now. Just a couple of showers across eastern Oklahoma. Some of this moisture from the uh, decaying tropical system that tried to get its act together might push into our area, but really not much tomorrow morning. Quiet in Fayetteville right now. Today you got up to 82 degrees, handful of degrees above your average of 78. Meanwhile, in the River Valley, also not too bad of a day this had today where you got up to 83 right where you should be for this time of the year. So pretty average day in Fort Smith. Temperatures right now mostly in the upper 60s and lower 70s across the entire region, but it feels sticky out there. Look at these dew points still mid 60s. So you will need the fan and the air conditioning tonight, hopefully to help yourself sleep out there. We are watching tonight early morning, as I said, just a couple of sprinkles across northwest Arkansas. I think the main slug of moisture will remain just to the uh, west of our area, but you can see even by 7 a.m. a couple, maybe a little bit of patchy drizzle or a quick shower or two. We'll get a break for a good part of the day, but by the evening hours, watching for the potential for more showers to pop up as we go through the evening and uh, early night hours there, but by Monday morning, not too bad. Uh, tonight we will fall into the lower 60s for our lows out there. A muggy night rebounding into the lower to mid 80s for Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Look at the extended forecast again, just like last week on and off chances for showers and storms. I think they're substantially less than what we had last week, with the exception of Thursday. That is the day I'm, we might. It's still a long way off. Might have uh, our next chance for a severe storm or two. Quite warm in the River Valley with some of that heat moving its way from the east. But again, nothing like what they're going to experience a couple hundred miles to our east. They can have the heat. I'll take the showers. I'll also take Jordan Black with sports coming up after the break.